Hello, welcome to another LSPEC training video on PQ SCADA Sapphire. Today we're going to go into templates. Now, what templates are and what they do is they give you an instantaneous population of a specific set of parameters. So, when you take the time to go through and you build your investigation and you populate it with all the values you want to see, you can save that as a template and then it will, you can use it to populate your next investigation and so on and so forth. There's also two other types of templates um, that are more or less default, but you can modify them. The first one is when you click on one of your power quality events, such as let's do a SAG. So we now have a SAG. I'm going to expand this out a little bit so we can see it better. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to add some parameters to this. So this is phase three voltage. I'm going to add some RMS values. And then I'm going to add a couple more charts. We're going to add current. And we're going to add power. Okay. So this is going to be, whenever I click on an event, this is what I want to see is I want to see my voltage, my current, my power. So if I go to actions and save as template, we have template type event. Topology, doesn't matter, we're going to leave it at any. Event, sag. We'll save it. Okay. So if we go back over here and we click the exact same one again. We now have voltage, current, and power, three phase, as opposed to what we had on the previous one, which was simply the single phase SAG event. So you can save these events this way to make even event work easier. The second type of file template is the file template okay topology we're going to leave that as any as well so that way it covers all the different types of wiring configurations and this is a pq zip file okay so we're going to save it and if we go here to start a new investigation from a file or if we were to drag and drop one we'll end up with the same format as what we want so as you can see we've got our voltage our current and our three phase power okay so we'll go ahead and close these investigations out so we can get a little bit more screen room up here. And we'll start another investigation. And this is just going to be a normal investigation from a connected meter. So I go down here to template. I currently have a large amount so we're going to take basic and finish it 
thing. This gives us RMS voltage, current, power, and three-phase power. It's just a basic template. But we're going to go ahead and add a grid with our powers. And so now we have this grid that has our power. So this is basically a spreadsheet of all this data. And let's go back in here and let's add spectrum. So we're going to look at current harmonics. I'll do it on a 10 minute aggregation finish. So now I have quite a bit more data here. Go to actions, save as a template. This one is going to be an investigation. The reason that's different is because for different scenarios, you have different types of investigations. You may care about frequency, you may care about power, you may care about uh, harmonics, depending on what you're investigating. So this gives you the ability to name them whatever you want to do. So in this case, I'm going to call this basic training. And I'm going to save it. So, next time I come through here and create an investigation, select template, basic trainings here, finish, and now as you can see the spectrum and the grid were added to the others that were in the basic template. So this gives you an idea and lets you see what you are wanting to see at the click of a button. So you don't have to spend time adding graphs if, you, if you're always looking for the same values. And then from here, you can add graphs as you need or you want to investigate more. Now, the other thing that makes these really nice is if you go to your users app data roaming pqs templates folder you'll see events export and investigation these are your templates and files so investigation will open it up here's basic training the one we just created okay so we'll go ahead and open that with code router And here's all the parameters that are involved in that particular file. The reason I showed this is if you have customers that you want to send a template to, you come here, you copy it, you email them the XML file, they paste it in their investigation folder, and then they have the exact same investigation template as you do. Thank you for watching this training video. Be sure to connect with us on LinkedIn, like us on Facebook, and be sure to reach down there and hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Thank you and have a great day.